Good evening and welcome to the school building committee meeting of Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. We'll start off with the Pembroke project. And the first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our last meeting of January 12th, 2016. So I'd like to make a motion to approve so these minutes. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? They are approved. Okay. And next is the monthly invoices. All right, so this for this month we have a total of $65,857.30. So I'd like to make a motion to approve these invoices as submitted. So moved. Second. Does anybody have any questions or discussion? No? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? These are approved. All right, and we will go on and get an update on where we are in our punch list and the fields. And it's up to you if you guys want to do the break schedule in while you're going through everything. Yeah, that, that it's, yeah, it's we can, we can cover, yeah, we can like cover that. all of it. Basically, yep. I mean, obviously, this is a fairly short report this month because the only thing that's happened is obviously they've been working on some punch, punch list items. Yep. Nothing, ha nothing's happening out in the field. Probably won't happen until the early part of April. Uh, but again, they, uh, Chuck will have a little bit more information, but again, I know that they're working on, uh, there's some, some uh, 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 final adjustments and, and tie-ins for the security system. They're working on that one. It's a combination of obviously the opera operational aspects and the, the obviously the, the components that obviously send it off site and so forth. So again, they're working on that. There's a meeting I think set up with next week, Chuck, to go through that and with Wes to go through the whole thing to get it uh, so that they can transmit it off-site and pick it up off-site. Off uh, in the meantime, they've been making some progress. I think you probably know last month they probably reported that the, the, uh, the gymnasium floor has been redone again, and uh, hopefully it meets with your satisfaction, Ellie, after they did oh, it for the third time. You're talking about Pembroke. We're at Pembroke. Pembroke. Yeah. 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 yeah we're um, at Pembroke. I yeah. did point out to Matt or Chuck a few places where they went right through the blue down to the old first blue color yeah there's a handful of i don't know if there's anything that they can even do about it without damaging the floor but that must, asked that must have come up at the last meeting yeah hey take a look at it with okay okay i mean mm -hmm. it was certainly better they mm -hmm. didn't get unfortunately they didn't take out all the bubbles that were there yeah but at least they smoothed it out, so at least when you put your hands over the old bubbles, you mm. couldn't feel them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's going to be a problem for the floor. Mm. I know someday it'll have to be sanded down again, so hopefully they'll... Well, have them take a look at it again. again and, and, yeah, yeah, I did show Chuck. Yeah. I mean, I don't want them... There's a point where you have to get it right and yeah. just leave the floor alone. Yeah, this last time they brought the other individual, the other friend, right. to take care right. of it. Right. Yeah, right. To, to obviously. It was at least smooth. Yeah. I will say that. It yeah. was, he did a really fine job getting that thing smooth yeah. because it was like sandpaper before in some spots. So, We're, uh, we're waiting for uh, the weather. And again, like I said, hopefully next week the weather will be okay. They've done the roof scan and they're going to come in and do an exterior envelope scan to take a look at the exterior envelope to make sure there's no areas of transmission of, of heat and cooling and so forth. So uh, that's been on hold w waiting for the, the appropriate weather. Uh, and again, like I said, they've been in uh, at various times and there's nothing I'm aware of, Chuck, let me know if there's anything. But again, outside of that, uh, getting that, that uh, resolution of the, the security system so they can read it off site, as far as I know, every, there's nothing else that's affecting anything in the school. Everything else seems to be running. HVAC I, is balanced. Well, I, actually, I went into, I had the pleasure of observing a basketball game in the beautiful mm -hmm. new gym. I mean, it is it is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But the scoreboard was not working. Scoreboard it wasn't working. It, it the scoreboard was reported it wasn't working, and they found that there was some wires mm -hmm. that weren't hooked up. No, that was, no, the scoreboard was a different issue. But that was the, the uh, was sound system. The fact that um, the people that have used the scoreboard, it's done by remote control. Yeah. Had done, but who had used it previously? Yeah. Had not plugged it in for recharging, oh. so therefore they couldn't get the scoreboard to work. Oh, so they needed to Mike re recharge Mike, the remote. Yeah, Mike Is that knows it? Knows about it. He's spoken to him about it, and he's taught people now, if the after-school programs and the weekend programs use it, how to put it back into its cradle so that it 
Mm -hmm. Oh, just the remote? It's, 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 it's just, just the remote. remote. Just like home. A, um, yeah. yeah. A box. I feel like I'm at home. Exactly. It's like home. <laughs> just like home. And you can turn, turn, turn it on, but you can't control it if that thing is not charged. charged. So okay. Mike, Mike went through it with everybody, and everybody understood everything's fine. Great. Stand Thank correct. It, it was the it was scoreboard wiring that had to be. They took care of that as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, now there's an outdoor. As you're going into the gym, the, <coughs> the outermost door, the one on the right, slams. Like when you close it, you let it go. It just mm -hmm. slams, mm -hmm. and that's gonna break down after a while because it slams really hard every time. Something I don't know if that's on a, because what they're supposed to be doing is as soon as something like that comes up and it seems to be a warranty item immediately notifying break or or the trade contractors come back and take care of it so I don't know whether anybody's reported that but again Mike knows right. that and he's done a good job with it something happens I observed it I was once there. you're on the warranty situation they just notify the sub and they and have to commit and if door, they don't get just, response okay, then they can good. call it's us and we right. can help okay. stimulate some activity so are you going to tell Mike or Shapiro? I'm sorry. Can this serve as a reporting that problem? Well, yeah, we'll, we're going to do that right now. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the roof. Oh, did you have another one? I had, I had one more, which Go is ahead. a little bit of a different nature. Yep. Um, so I, you know, this is the first time I ever was in the gym for a basketball game. My son was a, a volunteer ref, and I know we've discussed this, but there's no place. There was no place for parents to sit. Right. You know this, right? right. That's on our list. We're aware of this. We're, 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 right. We're, 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 right. Every new elementary school right. has got the same right. problem. Everyone. Yeah. And that's what I figured because yeah. I know we, we built the gym according to state MSBA specs. MSBA standards. And, yeah, 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 you, you yeah. couldn't yeah. do anything different. Yeah. Have other elementary schools, has anybody come up with any kind of solution like, you know, just buying a bunch of, of stadium seats? like? We have Cushy. it on the list, yeah. Pam. Little, it, that's on the list? Yeah. yeah. The little things? Yeah. Yep. Great. You can Thank squeeze you. a couple of seats against <laughs> the wall. That's yeah. all I need to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Two tiered. Yeah. Like a double row of bleachers. Or, yeah. Yeah. The court is off center so that one side has a little bit more standing room yeah. or potentially sitting room. <laughs> yeah. The, the problem often comes with where do you store the seats or the benches if you buy them for spectators. Right. And you got to put them in the closet, and the closet's usually full of gym equipment and things. Well, no. Right. But they do have one bench for the teams. That's that for the teams. Right. 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 So they, they do, they do store that to, somewhere. Like, my first mm -hmm. inclination was to go for that, but that's for the team. That's so I right. Be on that. yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so <laughs> then looking over at the other side of the gym, there was nothing. You know, I mean, right. I own a stadium seat, so I was more comfortable than some other people, but other people were either standing or mm -hmm. yeah. sitting yep. on a very hard right. Right. floor. Yep. I feel your pain. I've, stand, I've stood through many of those games standing <laughs> against the back yep. wall. Yes, that's yeah. unfortunately. That's, and, they, and nobody knows yeah, yep. why it was built the way it was. I know why it was you know, built mm -hmm. the way it was. Yep. Yep. But I'm just thinking, you know, what can mm -hmm. we do now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's on the list for... Yep. All right, thank you. Yep. I had a question. Did anyone check how the roof held up with that wet snow Friday? No, we haven't. There was no yeah. calls made. Haven't heard anything. We've been in touch well, with Mike Anderson yeah. on yeah. other things. Was, and haven't heard anything. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the was snow was heavy, though. but I was yeah. in here. It wasn't that much. It wasn't. Those okay. days held it, and then when it melted, it slid off like it was supposed to do. Yeah. All the time to me. Yeah, yeah, we, we didn't have that much actually. We didn't have that much. Last year was a slightly unusual season. Yeah, just a little on the slight side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. The biggest, obviously, item to, to finish up the job, obviously, is the exterior site work. Right. And yeah. we've actually we've made contact with uh, with Bray uh, about a week and a half ago. I called Bob and then uh, Chuck called Mike and so forth. We're tr in the process of trying. I spoke to Carl. We're in the process of setting up a meeting with Carl, his consultants, Warner Larson, and Niche on the civil engineering to get out there and address any issues that anybody has that are, that uh, anything that has to be discussed, resolved. Uh, they're going to contest anything. We want to get all those things on the table, and we want to get a schedule that's going to show we're starting on, let's pick a day, April 1st, because we have to get done by the 15th of June, mm -hmm. because we want to make sure we get a good stand of grass by the 15th of June. We know we have irrigation in areas that aren't seeded, with the exception of the repository area, but it's really important at this stage, even though it sounds a little premature, it's February, you know, we're talking about grass, but unless you sit down and go through it, Oh, no, they we're not, you know, we're not going to have a good solid game plan. So we want to iron out all the issues that anybody has, have, have them come up with a good game plan, a flow of activities, where they're going to be working around the school so the school is notified as to what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, where are they starting first, what are the civil items they got to take care of before they do the landscaping items. So there's a complete plan in hand so that they're ready to go as soon as the weather breaks, whether it's the end of March or the middle of April. 
because if it's the middle of April, you get two months to wrap it all up to get a stand of grass. Yeah, no, we want it going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. And how are the um, things going on the, on the punch list? What is left on the punch list? I will is defer to Chuck. I, I, again, as I said, my only again the, the biggest item I'm aware of is the uh, is the issue regarding the uh, the security system, getting that finalized, and so it's transmitting to all the areas it's going to transmit. Yep. Anything okay. else, Chuck, of consequence? There's very few items left. I mean, yeah. there's a couple of tweaks that are happening in the board boiler boy, 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 room. There's the, the commissioning agent is working on with the engineers and with uh, the mechanical contractors. They're not operational issues. They're quirky reporting type issues to the city system. Uh, those are being resolved. Um, there are a couple of pink painting e e issues, but I believe they've been back, or I know they've been back. And the rest of it is war 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 warranty type issues, like what I mentioned that I usually calls yeah. somebody and somebody responds in a few, few, few days. So there's not a lot of pump punch list items left. The majority of the punch list, and there is a fair amount of retainage, still being held on the project, mm -hmm. which is money that we owe the contractor, yep. is being held for the exterior work. Mm -hmm. So there's still a fair amount. There's like 400,000. Yeah, there's over 400,000 we're still holding on the job, partly related to the springtime so, yeah. site work. Yeah. But um, on, the, on the monetized punch list, the, it, it's still pretty long because we haven't gone through and back punched everything, really? partly because, or primarily because a lot of the trades are incomplete. You, you know, they may have done 60, 70, 80 percent of their items, but, you know, we can't keep going back every week just to cross some things off. Right. When they tell us they're all done and they show us on the list and they, you know, cross them off, we'll go back again. Matt, as it is, Matt's been going out there uh, virtually every week already yeah. um, th to try and um, respond. But we really need, we're, we're at that point, too. We're getting close, at least on the building, obviously, not the site. Um, where some items get, um, let's call it, uh, settled um, because they're in dispute. You know, we say there's still something wrong with that. It's not, and they say, oh, that's right. It's uh, it's what we owe you in the contract. And there's a little, you know, back and forth that's bound to happen um, on every project. So we still hold money to protect you, you know, to ensure that there's action and and so forth. So, yeah, from a from a you know pure work point of view, there's less than four hundred thousand dollars worth of work to be done on the project, probably. But because some of these items are in dispute, and because many of the categories aren't a hundred percent yet, um, that's why there's no pay requisition this month for break because we're not prepared to release any more retainage. And we do want to have this meeting, as Pat says, yeah. you know, get them to the table. And at the same time, a lot of the items in dispute are from the the site work guy who claims he's done with a lot of things that he finished up before Christmas, before the snow, and, mm -hmm. and wants to get paid. And we said, you know, well, last time we saw it, it wasn't done. And now there's snow out there. And now there's no way we can verify it. So we're just going to hold the money. Mm -hmm. So um, he's a little angry at us, but that's the way it goes. And we'll fight on your behalf. Uh, the, the comforting yeah. aspect for me is I've always, my, I've always maintained that if you've got a good tight building and there's no water dripping in the building, and the mechanical systems are all functioning and everybody's comfortable, well, let me tell you, you get about 90% of the satisfaction is there. Because again, like I said, if someone's taking care of a you know, chip piece of paint here or there, it's not a big deal, but people have to be comfortable. And they gotta realize that billing is tight, the integrity's there, and they've got a comfortable setting and the systems are running. And that tends to be a very time-consuming process because these systems are so sophisticated that there's a, a lot of back and forth and the working between the commissioning agent, the mechanical contractor, the, the mechanical engineer, it's tough to get them all fine-tuned and get in, getting everybody understand how they operate. <coughs> and it seems like Mike's done a good job on the operational side, and the systems are running fine, and people are comfortable. Uh, I want you to know I went in the elevator. <laughs> you wild and crazy person. You were brave. <laughs> Chuck swore that he could yell loud enough for people to hear us. <laughs> And it worked fine. No, yeah. it's been fixed and they haven't had a problem We're since, so I, oh, that's I chanced it that's good. because I couldn't do the stairs and I wanted to get up to the library and see how things that's were looking. Mm -hmm. That was brave. Yeah, but that one time. I'm glad it worked out. It did. <laughs> All right, so when is that meeting that you're targeting with we're waiting. We're waiting for Bray to get back to us. Okay. And they came back to us today. We spoke to them actually later this afternoon that Mike, uh, Chuck was on the phone with Mike as I was calling Bob. But uh, they wanted to know, and we're going to throw the ball at Kyle. We left the ball with the give us a couple of dates and we'll arrange the team. They came back and said, mm -hmm. well, look, let us know tomorrow after Kyle checks with uh, Juan Alassa and, and Niche. 
give me a couple mm -hmm. of dates when your team's ready. We'll let them know when they have to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. We've asked them to come in armed with a schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Other than that, we're in wonderful financial shape as we've been right along. I mean, we're still holding the million sixty some odd. You still have about sixty thousand left. So, financially, the job is in great shape, mm -hmm. and we're on the verge of, like I said, if we can get this site wrapped up this spring, you know, we're done. So, what is the uh, um, balance without underbid savings? If you look, if you 43. go to, yeah, if you flip over, uh, I inadvertently left my glasses in the car, but I will stumble through it, and Chuck will be here to help me out. If you go to page, uh, I guess four. it's four. Uh, if you look at that, you'll see at the bottom, you've got the 60,000 in uh, contingency there. And then that is reduced by, if you go to the, the 25940, the red. I guess that is, that is the, uh, no, that's the final. That's the final, because the, the, if you go two pages before that, it shows you where you are without the without without the anticipated. Mean two pages after? Yeah, so it's not sixty so on. So what was this extra? Twenty-five. Where are you? What, what page you Still on? Still on page Jeff? four. Still on page four. Looking at the the red. Because I remember when you when you sent the email, it was in the sixties, and then so I was surprised to see it's down to forty-three. You had some bills come in this month that weren't. Accounted for in previous yeah. line, line, line items. I see this eight. So we still, so, still so in other words, this 40, 43 is not 43 necessarily. 43 is, this is everything that we know of. The school department has bought something above and beyond this, I don't know. And they, they normally they haven't been, but sometimes smaller bills come in and we put them against the correct categories and we go from there. But. So, okay. where are you looking at the 43? It's down here. Right down the bottom, yeah. bottom of the page. Down by your thumb. Page four. Oh. Bottom of oh, the right of page. Remember, it's 60 okay. something. It was 69 or whatever it was before, 67 or whatever. So we had a, a balance of 25,940. What is that, 28? Um, so off, off of that. So, so yeah. in, in effect, almost $26,000 came in that we really didn't know about. And, and now we're down to 43,708. And, you know, uh, Chuck's saying that there's nothing else, but we just don't know because there could right. be something else. Who right. knows? That's why we're just so. I think that's why right we, now, we get down to that level anything. on this size job. We've been saying right along, consider you, you have, you're have at zero at this point. You know, right. yeah, we're holding we're the meeting six. That doing item. anything. We're not purchasing anything. Yeah. And, um, but there's nothing else being purchased outside of what we know, right? No, the, actually, okay. we should be. Um, what? Where is the? Um, where? Where was the shed in this? I know I ask this every week. I mean, every month. Because aren't we going to be getting some money back from the shed because we were under budget for? Yeah, we budgeted hundred or more, less than that. Yeah. Where, where? What line? Would that be Chuck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Didn't that come out of old contingency? Yeah. contingency. Yeah. So right. Eighty-two, eighteen, and owners contingency unknown balance. That's actually going to be more than that because you're not. Gonna, he didn't spend the full one hundred thousand dollars, but because he hasn't awarded the electrical contract yet to rewire the shed that you voted a number last right. month as not to exceed. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what the number is yet. He's still getting quotes. Okay, so you've taken a hundred thousand out of this. That, that number reflects that you're going to spend a hundred thousand dollars on that shed. Okay. And based on numbers that Mike's been providing all along, you're not going to get you're not going to get near that. Number. Right. You'll be shy of that number. Okay. So. Exactly what that number will be, I don't know yet. That's all right. When because I don't know what the bids are. No, and that's me. that's fine. We're not in yeah. a hurry. We just want to know what yeah. the accurate information is, and we're not going to do anything until that's if, why we're if, not doing it's anything. It's included as a committed amount, and the owners yep. continue to see that it's right. truly not a hundred percent committed. But since you committed to Mike, you would spend that much. Yep. That's why committed. Okay. All right. Um, is there any other potential amount of money that would be added to this eight at some point besides what's coming from the shed? Well, that's the, the only, eight, it's no, that's the only the thing that's outstanding. If there's always the, the, well, if the, if the if remote the possibility under, that it would, it would increase the, the eight. Yeah. No, no, no. The eight is, well, the eight is the owner's contingency. Right. That's and not that's, how much is coming yeah. off of everything. Right. There's always the remote possibility that if some of these monetized punch list items, the contractor or subcontractor right. chooses mm -hmm. to just walk away and say, I'm done, you can keep your X, uh, you know, 
50 bucks. Barely, you know, I mean, it, it, it's usually a negotiation, but still, there yeah. might sometimes be some money coming but back. Then but then remember, if you want to fix it, you got to pay for it. Yes. Right. So, right. Right. Yes. Like I said, that's why. I wouldn't count know. on it because, again, like right. I said, you, I always look at it and say, look at it, whatever you're going to get back, you, you may want to spend getting it taken Ex care well, of. Well, exactly. So, so that's, that's why. You're holding yeah. more money back because yeah. if you're going out and getting an individual contract who's not part of the job, you're going to pay a lot more money, which is why you have a right to hold more money than. Well, that's why right. exactly. That's oh. why you have a yeah. right yeah. to hold more money. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, um, oh, got one gone. more piece yep. of good news. Um, okay. We got our report back from Lead. Um, oh, okay. It's not quite the final final, but um, we've already hit the magic number of fifty lead points. So the building is Lead Silver. Yay! Uh, or will be. We don't have the paperwork in. But lead silver certified. And that was our goal. That's our goal, and you'll get your two extra reimbursement points from the MSBA. Awesome. Great. Yeah, that's great news. Thank you yeah. very much. That's awesome. Yes, I that's can see terrific. Your, your, I can see the wheels. No, no I that's already taken off. That's already. Well, you know what? That's a conversation for another that. day. No, wait a minute. I want to make sure you can't be that efficient with everything. <laughs> you, every budget and the PFA and everything that's been presented. Has always assumed you would. Right, right. We right. know that. It does not mean it's extra not money. No, we no. know that. It's, not extra money. <laughs> right. it's money that the town's not going to play extra. Going no, 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 no. We no. all knew that. I know. I know. Right, right. No, it's, no the wheels would have been churning if he said we didn't quite make it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then what? That would yeah. be up a creek. Yeah, that would yeah. be a Everything substantial hit. Yeah. You're going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We, we what do you anticipate for points? We have 50 already awarded, and there's six more pending. So that's pretty good if, if those six come through. Mm -hmm. uh, not that we're going to go for it, but I mean, lead gold is 60 points. That's the next level, but you don't get any more reimbursement points. Yeah, they, they, they said, <laughs> <laughs> you're, they said it, as long as you we only need two of the six. Um, you think we'll get them? No, no, no. We, we, need, we, we don't need, need any, do we? We need 10 more, you know, and we've right. got no, no, six no, no. pending. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Right. There so are a couple more, more that we didn't even gold. apply for that yeah. we and probably could gold have. Certified. So, but that's is there any benefit to being gold no. versus silver? Just bragging rights. Yeah, bragging rights. That's yeah. it. Nice yeah. 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 <laughs> no, like, no. Know. Well, we do like no. nice plaques. I don't know. <laughs> You'll get a nice yeah, plaque. Nothing back from the government that we have a gold lead school. MSB MSB says you have to get the silver to get the two percent. That's right. as far as they right. have, they don't go yeah. any higher. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. the silver plaque will match our silver plaque. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Carl. Um, well, all right. That's good I news. would like to make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Let's see. Um,
Jeff, it would, would you, either one would be Jeff. Backed up for miles. Uh, okay. If you're not in line, I think it was Eric. I mean, um, it was probably Jeff. Yeah, All right, right. Good evening, and yeah. welcome to the building committee meeting for the Georgetown Middle High School project for Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. All right. First thing is to approve the minutes from January 12th, 2016. And I'm sorry, what was the change? We need to amend oh, under who had joined the meeting, the meeting. Okay. and that Eric was yeah, present. Okay. And the vote. The, and uh, Eric. Eric was, was Zena was present. How about the so moved and the second? You got that. Yeah, Six seconds. Seconds. yeah. yeah we got that. Okay. I move we approve them. As second. Amended. As amended. Thank you. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So they are approved as amended. All right, and next thing are our invoices for the month. All right, and check the, this bottom 5,000, that's for the, what, all the back and forth for the deductible and the insurance, right? That, so that's in there, and then we'll be all set. Okay, so the total for the uh, middle high school for the month was $115,522.29. So moved. Second. Okay. And the amount for LD Russo you have? 32,573? Correct. Okay. Um, right. Any discussion on this? No? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. All right. And let's turn it over to you, Pat and Carl, for the uh, update on our Status and since it talks about budget first, if you go to page four in the right hand side, you can see that there's at the bottom there, owners contingent the uncommitted contingency is the four hundred and some odd thousand dollars, and then the owner's contingency right below that. So needless to say, we have plenty of money left in the contingency. Okay. So that's on page four. And then that actually on the next page. Chuck does a breakdown of the furnishings and technology showing where those are. Yeah. And then on page six, he takes the page four items that in that are in that uncommitted balance column. And he takes that and takes it for those items that are yet not finalized and takes it down to the bottom. And you can see the, the there's a reduction in those figures based on what is anticipated to happen up above. So again, you've got, you know, every job should finish half as good as this job is wrapping up. So uh, you can see that from a financial standpoint, you're in excellent shape. All right, and those change orders come out of the construction contingency, right? That's correct. Well, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. six, though, change orders all come out of you know, the contingency. Yeah. Right. So FF and E yeah. items would come out of the owner's contingency and obviously the construction items come out of the construction contingency. So congratulations, you're in marvelous shape. Okay. So So showing the negative thirteen thousand in the equipment, that's gonna have to get moved from owner's contingency to cover that. Those anything that's yeah in that category that'll get moved around. Okay, so are we just not so my understanding, just if we're going to do this kind of similar, you're just going to kind of leave that hanging out there because above the line, above the contingency, we still have some money left in the one category. One, one category has money left, one category is overspent. Well, for furnishings and yeah. equipment, correct. Yeah. But then just above the line, I mean, we've got like 23,000 in testing services that we don't think we're probably going to use. Those will be, those will be, that's right, you won't use those, yeah. Right, those so I'm just saying probably now because we're not, done completely we're closed but yeah. you know so you know that maybe instead of coming out of owner's contingency you can move right. the money around, move that around. exactly that's that. right. right you're going to use all the money that's available first before you touch any Correct. contingency yeah. okay no, so that and so you're just going to leave it like this for the time being yeah. right okay and i noticed you put in a spot for the wall yes okay and that's shown in the committed amount of the owner's contingency right your vote specifically said. Correct. 
And and we can mention that Mike has come in with votes that put us under that amount, considerably yeah. under. Where where is that? It's, it's down here on the bottom of page four, right where your thumb is, Pam. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you. So Mike got um, several estimates for both the electrical yep. work and the wall work. We've already taken a vote for him to proceed, yeah. not to exceed 15000 so we're yeah. going to give him the go-ahead to hire who he needs. Hopefully to get it done, I would guess, during April vacation. That is his plan. From yeah, told. yeah he, he's Being obviously not doing it over get it February. Next week vacation yeah, no, he yeah. didn't get yeah. the estimates in. Yeah, no, that's fine. to be able that's to do fine. that. So that'll probably be done during April vacation. Yeah. So, like I said, so, yeah. And as far as the punch list is concerned, uh, I will let Kyle and or Chuck uh, jump in any time. I will tell you that I was up there with Matt uh, at the end of January. We took a, a walk through there. There was obviously a lot of concern and, and, and discussion about the sound coming out of the, the chorus room. And uh, as we walked through it while they were performing, it, it, it was pretty clear to me that it was coming up through. There's a chase in the back corner where there's a pipe penetrating the concrete floor. And... It, when you're in that room, you can see clearly it's coming from that direction. Uh, there's some possibility it's drifting through the windows and coming up the other side, but certainly it looked like the majority was coming out of that back corner. Uh, Matt was going to go back, I think, and talk to you about yeah, it. Yeah, we've talked with Mike Anderson. And Mike thinks he can handle it himself. We don't have yeah. to get you know, a yeah. contractor back or an outside contractor. The, it's a it, chase, it's basically and it wasn't, the space, wasn't, it wasn't you know, sealed off. Yeah. Coming the hole up to is the floor. bigger than the pipe yeah. needs yeah. to be What's sealed. And there's so actually this, two or three pipes yeah. within this yeah. chase. What's he filling it with? Uh, stuffing it first with fiberglass insulation, then caulking um, uh, to, uh, you know, solidify it. And, again, it, it could be also going through the windows. Uh, the windows are sort of a softer spot, you might say, than the solid wall, and yeah. coming up to the windows above, although sound doesn't usually go, you know, quite uh, bend like probably that. Probably not getting a lot of that. Sound? I think it's sound. Sound. From the chorus room yeah. disturbing the so, chorus rooms above. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll share this with Peter. I, I think I've told you this before. The classroom I teach in is directly above the band, and my colleague next door is above chorus. And we hear them. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they start singing Christmas carols in September. Now, I came Everybody into that. Around. Well, they have a big <laughs> parade, and, you know, they've already started pomp and circumstance. You know, that they're <laughs> yeah. just seasons, things start. Even changing that, Peter, it's probably not going to resolve it. They're never going to resolve it completely. You can't completely soundproof the room. And... The only things that I've been able to do to help deal with it is when I've had big tests or times where I knew I really needed the kids not to be distracted. I've told, you know, the band director and and he has worked with me with that. But other than that, you know, they can stuff holes. I have a pipe. I've suggested closing it up because it's a gas pipe that leads up to my stove. And the way I get back at them, if they're really loud and too early with Christmas, <laughs> is I fry bacon, onions, peppers, and it goes down. <laughs> and the kids will come running up at the end of class, what are you making? <laughs> so that, you know, unfortunately, it, that's the situation. It, um, you know, they can do what they can, but I just know from experience, from both of our rooms, that you just can't completely insulate it. So... Well, we're still going to right. sort of uh, absolutely. You've got to do as much as you well, can. Right. Do that. I think any, but any hole. you get used see, to it. Yeah, any hole is has to be every has bit. To be blocked and, up. Right. and maybe even if you if you think changing the window blinds would help to add a, an yeah. insulated layer, then we should. Yeah. Yeah, a dark, a sh not different type of shade. I, mean, I don't know. Is that no? I don't think so. No, it doesn't matter it's, anyways. No yeah. yeah. Well, we need I mean, sound they is, will get used to it. Believe it or not, once you get going, you start to tune it out. It's just a new experience. And the vibrations go through, too. There's, but the band has always played in that room. 
I mean, that it hasn't. No, we're talking about no, chorus. No, this chorus. is the chorus. chorus. Andrew was yeah. a sexo. Yeah. Okay. It, it, this yeah. is yeah. really I'm just sorry, voices. I'm sorry, I'm picturing they don't right. have It's just the voices. Yeah. It's almost an abandoned area the last yeah. few years. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. you want to do science. I mean, typically you want to do two things with sound. One is you want to stop any holes <laughs> with mass. <laughs> mass is what does it. Yeah. So it's either drywall, layers of drywall, or concrete or whatever yeah, it may this be. This is concrete structure yeah. we're talking about. And yeah. then the other thing is, like you said, the vibrations mm -hmm. and noise coming up through. But that the, the solution for that is creating a second ceiling that goes in that's solid. It has drywall. It's, it's hung by resiliency yeah. clips that stop the vibration and stuff like that. That's what we use when we separate you know, nightclubs from apartment buildings or something like but that. But the ceiling's probably so, not high enough to really... Right. We're challenged. Really cramped right. that it's way. A, yeah. it's well, you a only low need space. that much, so... Yeah. 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 But, but it's a waffled-type ceiling they have with beams. It's... Mm -hmm. With different levels of piping yeah, and, you know, coming through. Yeah, it's quite it a challenge. If you don't do it at the beginning, it's very expensive yeah. if you have pipes and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Really, really hard. We'll, we'll see what this does, you know, in terms of uh, the first step, and yeah. if it's still, uh, you know, a nuisance... Um, it's we're more than a nuisance because you cannot you cannot have assessments in two rooms above it. Mm -hmm. Period. I had to move the the chorus out of there during midterms, and it's a shame because we've been you know a big part of this project was to you know get the chorus off the stage, and it, it breaks my heart to bring them back in onto that thing during midterm so but that's I mean, only a couple of days right. or a week but you can't have a you can't have a quiz in there you can it's very noticeable well that's and what we're saying it, after we do this stuffing holes. and, and yeah. we'll assess it again we'll there are a lot of holes we'll, in that we'll involve our acoustical consultant too yeah and in addition to the physical stuff that they, they might be able to recommend something i don't know if you stop right now you hear the noise in the background? Mm -hmm. White noise. Sometimes adding white noise to the space above can mask it and make it livable up there too. Yeah, right. So they have some, you know, sometimes techniques. sophisticated techniques to address it. So we haven't given up on it, and and we'll yeah. still um, pursue that. But but the kids will also get used to it. It's a new thing, and so, you know, if you're focused, you can tune it out. What kind of class is it? Social above? studies. Mm -hmm. It's two classes. Yeah, two rooms. Oh, they mostly just, one room and a little yeah. bit of the yeah. other room. Yeah. Well, step by step. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. The other thing we did is when I was up there walking through it, Matt, we did. Uh, hopefully, the the back door was a problem. It wasn't one door wasn't latching. Yeah. And there was also I don't know what they did, but they ended up putting a gasket in that actually was not a gasket. They ended up putting in a very soft black material. They had it all over the door. It looked like something might have been dripping, but it actually ended up being the gasket. I met that guy. We talked to your, uh, your, your assistant uh, uh, principal. But uh, actually, you could see it was, and of course, as soon as the kids found out it was just pliable, you know, you just put pens in there. So they supposedly have come back, cleaned it out, mm -hmm. and put the real gasket in, and supposedly have worked that door again because that was a vulnerable door back there that if it didn't latch, it's it would still, uh, I think it was Friday. I went that and it's still if you don't open it all the way, way yeah it doesn't shut mm. and that's a big safety concern yeah and, and we actually telegraphed the fact because we tried that when you opened it all the way it came back and it latched yeah but if you opened it part way it wouldn't come back it didn't have enough force to latch right. and that was transmitted right. over to the guy that came down to look at it so if it's still a problem we have to let him know Chuck that it's still a, a problem in the back and then we did t take a walk through and we listened. There was a couple of areas where, uh, in the science areas, there was some, some concern about some noise of the fans. Uh, when fans are running, they're going to make a little bit of noise. As a matter of fact, there was one in the storeroom that I thought was actually particularly quiet, but seemed to be a disturbance. Uh, the solution to that yeah, would have been to close the There is the door. one fan um, that we're going to pursue trying to relocate to the corridor side of the room. Because right now, if you know those science rooms down there, they have exposed mm -hmm. ceilings. Mm -hmm. So all the ductwork piping is exposed. Mm -hmm. and there is an exhaust fan that's part of one of those duct and it's not serving that room it's serving the teacher's room across the hall mm -hmm. exhausting and uh, we're going to try and talk with our consultant see if we can uh, from a design point of view relocate that fan uh, out of the science room 
into the corridor ceiling. That wasn't the one that was on the switch, was it? No. No. Okay. The ones on the switch, they control. They just leave it off. So There's if they're on, doing science the experiments switch, and they need off. exhaust, yeah. they can they turn, turn it on. on. Yeah. If right. they don't, if they're doing lectures, they can turn they off the fan. Shut it off. And you don't really need the exhaust fan for ventilation otherwise. Then they can talk yeah, and those not be good, bothered. But that other one that vents from the teacher's room. Right. Yeah. It's we ha it's turned down to to really for the room to be usable. You have to turn it down below the recommended minimum right. speed. Yeah. 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 And it's and like like I asked, if it would be great if you could move it into the hallway. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why it's there, but it's really. I don't yeah. Know it, it was originally designed to go down the corridor and over the prep room that where the other fan yeah, is. Yeah. But there was an obstruction, they couldn't go down the corridor. Um, and so during the construction, they just went straight through the science room. And the fan ended up being in the science room instead of over the prep so room. that's gonna be moved. Is it, have they yeah. been notified? Uh, no, we still have to, from a design okay. point of view, figure it out before sure. we yeah. get yeah. Russo back. Okay. Yeah. So we're on that, and yeah, as Pat mentioned, we've looked at the, the door latching mm -hmm. um, issue. The contractors come out and address that. I think you may still need to address uh, the strength of the closer yeah. okay. um, there. And then the latest one uh, is the peeling paint in the gym wall. Mm -hmm. too. Yeah, what's going on with yeah. that? that. Um, we, uh, I believe Russo is going to be out there. I don't know if he contacted you, Peter, but um, he's going to get his painter out there, and I think he's trying to do it tomorrow, meet him out there. It, it, and when something peels like that, it's got to be the surface preparation, that either right. there was dirt right. or grease or something are, um, are you sure it's so not something moisture moisture in the wall I mean something that's not going to keep coming back we, we don't know that for sure but that's why we want the, the painter back there to, to assess it too it, is he going to be able to know. assess that well, uh, well he'll see it. if it's wet he'll see it they can say, they can measure it this. they know and yeah. if they didn't use the right primer to you yeah. know then paint's not going to adhere to something that's um, you know, has a higher moisture content. Okay. Well, the roof so. scan, I think roof scan was good. The roof scan didn't show any leakage anywhere, so. Right. I mean, that too is also a, a beautiful gym now, and I, I, we love the new bleachers, yeah. but I'm just concerned that that paint issue is more of a problem. How big of an area is it? Somebody yeah, hitting the wall. A few areas that were. Paint. It's a couple different you know, about areas. About three of them this yeah. big? A number of them. Yeah. 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 So, but just on one wall, right, Peter? I think just on the. But if that is a larger wall, problem, yeah. the then if that is, a, you know, moisture, that can be. We'll resolve that. We will look into that. We will fix it. Sure. Uh, you know, there was never a moisture problem there before. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, we don't recall. Project, we talked about so. that, and there was never any peeling in there <clears throat> before. So if there was any moisture coming through that so existing I, I wall, think it should have, would have happened before. Surface you know? right. preparation. Yeah. Well, except okay. that except okay. that a new roof was put on. So if there was a well, like uh, I said, we it's we've been tight. You know, the scan yeah. showed no yeah, know, moisture. But your scan your scan showed the roofing itself, and maybe not the uh, um, gravel stop or. That's, or it's, cap that's, or that's true. So. That's true. But, so it could but be again, getting in there. I don't know the situation. Yeah, but, yeah. You know. Where everything is, Who knows? everything is running. You know, to the middle of the roof. You know, <coughs> the tape and insulation. Mm -hmm. If you're getting yeah. some uh, something coming in at the edge, you're probably going to run down. And the know? other thing, you, you know, if you put a new cap on it, you know, you have to seal where it comes over, or else when yeah. you can blow it up and yeah, up and under. So you got to yeah. be careful of that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And you know, it, it has been repainted now. Yeah, I guess yes. the schools. The wrong color. The schools well, people yeah, did it, it just to school. cover it up. Just so. to cover yeah. it up. Yeah, okay. it was just yeah. a quick patch. Okay, That's but why. he can still assess yes. properly. Okay. Well, has it peeled again since? No. 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 I mean, I mean this was just what last this week or something just a that quick it was repainted. Patch that they threw yeah. on. Um, <coughs> paint, but it is a different color. So, but that's just a patch. It's not it's okay. We can. We'll get the right color up. We will. We just want to make sure. Yep. It's all right. What about the wires? There was a box that had some open wires in it that weren't addressed on the drawings to be, they were existing. And existing control wires that weren't really connected to anything, they were just laying there. And there was an, they were laying in an open box and instead of somebody putting a plate over the box, they left it because there wasn't a specific note for them to do anything. And it was, so therefore it wasn't in their contract to do. But like a 15 they, cent plate on it, you know, just to... When they painted the walls, they painted right over it, so that's fine. <laughs> so Mike's guys got on a ladder, climbed up there, shoved the wires in, put a plate over it, it was all fine. Okay. Okay, so that's done. That's unbelievable. Huh? It was low voltage anyway, you know, yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Did he paint the cover? 
I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Then yeah. as far I as I think so. I don't know of any other issues. For, um, uh, again, on the monetized the punch list, we've I think there's something like uh, fifty fifty seven thousand dollars left, but again okay. that's a very let's call it comfortable amount um, for the amount of work remaining there. Uh, yeah. And uh, you're you're well protected. And uh, some of those items probably have been taken care of. Yes. But like Kyle yes. says, he's not going to run it every time they do it. Right. They come in, they do something, and they're not going to. It's not going to get reduced until he can get <coughs> through the whole shooting match. The majority of it is mechanical stuff, and um, we're working with Carl's office to get the mechanical contractor out to reinspect. Yeah. Do some of the work. So that's being scheduled as we speak. And, and to do that, they had to finish the the balancing report, yeah. which came in late. So I, again. Uh, it, it didn't work out for the end of the month to get out there um, to check out all those things without the balancing report being correct. Okay. All right, and then we already went through the reef finishing on the wall, the first floor wall that will yep. hopefully be done over April, personal. and then, yep, it should be less than what we did. And then are there change orders? Nope. No. None this month. There are still some proposed change orders that we have to negotiate and review, but nothing to bring forth. Uh, Some are listed in that sheet that shows up the right. open yes, Yeah, check yeah. out a couple. Okay. And then, um, so, and then you guys are going to meet with um, LD Russo just to make sure that there's nothing else outstanding, nothing that we're missing. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Sure. So, sure. hopefully, in the next month or two, we'll be in pretty good we've shape. We've got his $57,000, right? so we've got his attention. Okay. And next week's oh, vacation week, so again, like I said, they have the free reign, so hopefully they'll be stimulated to get in there and let's get some of it done so mm -hmm. they can yeah. knock off a lot of these items and some of the trades that get in and finish their work, they can come back in and say, our work is done, so they can take and a look can, at it. Yeah. So there's incentive for them to get in. Mm -hmm. sure. It's a perfect week to do it. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, and I think nobody else has anything else. We're going to postpone the... Um, furniture and technology requests until probably next month so I don't have anything else unless anybody else does okay. so all like the new meetings are make posted yep the new meetings were posted yeah I would like to make a motion to adjourn second so moved oh. 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 I'm supposed to go the other way isn't it? <laughs> okay. all in favor aye, aye. aye. <laughs> have a good thank evening thank you okay <laughs> thank you